Hello everybody and welcome to the Game Warrior. Today we have a game from Steam Forged Games coming in. This is an unboxing. You've seen the title of the video so you already know what it's about. But I am going to be opening this box with you today, January 30th, 2024. So let's dig in. So what's going on for you out there in the world? What games are you playing? What games are you playing? If you look over to the right, I'm gonna turn my camera a little. Oh, you can see Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I am still <laughs> learning that game. Now, luckily, Meeple University put out a video, a 10 part series for it. I'm really excited about that. I've gone through the first two and I am learning it. What is the real problem? The real problem is that these rule books aren't too good. And I was thinking the other day of going on a violent rant about bad rule books, but I'm not going to. Instead, let's look what's in the box. Oh, I'm so excited. This is like Christmas for me. This is like Christmas for me. And I did a Heroes of Might and Magic 3 board game unboxing. Guess what? That's got 2,000 plus views. It's one of my biggest videos ever, right? And I still haven't played it. It's been about two weeks later. Um, some of these big adventure games take so much effort to learn, particularly when the rule books are bad. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! It is you, Thea! Did you want the singing? Thumbs up, thumbs down? If this was live, I'd be saying, hey, you want the singing. So, what's the story behind you, Thea? I just did a video a little while ago about my most anticipated games of 2024, and this is one of them. It was a game by Dia Games, D-I-E-A, if I pronounced that correctly. They put it out, it was very popular. They then did a second Kickstarter. It failed, they did not make enough money. And SFG, Steam Forge Games, came in to save the day and found a way to help them save money and get the whole thing out, and boom, it's here. Is that exciting? That's exciting. All right, here it is out of the box. Let me tell you something. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a hefty game. That is a hefty, heavy game. Let's take a look at the box. It's got this cool guy like a magician here with his fingers out. I don't know if you can see that. Let's take a good look at that right there. There's some flair I can tell, but let's notice that he's helping levitate this magic girl. That looks pretty cool. You got some fighters. It is a 14 plus, one to four player, 30 to 120 minutes. Uh, there's a, you got your obligatory sexy warrior lady. You've got your obligatory sexy magic lady. You've got your obligatory old Gandalf wizard. And of course, your obligatory berserker. All right, all right, all right, this is kind of exciting. We have a modular tile based game, build a character, monsters and a 11 scenarios. All right, just so you know, so I got the base game. It's kind of, this is just the reprint. This is just the reprint. I don't know if it's been upgraded in any way. I should look that up. Has this game been upgraded in any way? Is this like a 1.5 version? Or is this the exact same box and configuration of the previous game? All right, the box is open and we are starting to look at the contents. So let's do it. What's on top is the scenario book. The scenario book is printed on nice paper. It does not look like it's linen. So for what that's worth, I'll take some pictures of it and let you look at them. So that is the scenario book, the scenario book. Pretty cool, huh? Got some pictures of it, and uh, like I said, it's not a linen finish, but it is It is pretty nice. Uh, it's smooth, it feels good, it smells nice. I love the smell of new books. What do we got next? We have an appendix, an appendix. Take a look at that. I'm not gonna do pictures of that. Uh, not sure what it is, just a whole bunch of details for the game, um, so. If you want to know about what all this is, I'm going to have to read the rule book first to know it. And here, the thing you've been waiting for.
All right, so now you've seen all the pictures and I'm looking at this and we could talk a little bit about one of my favorite topics, which is good rule books versus bad ones. Now, my one experience with Steamforge games, I don't like a lot of their games because I was so soured on the first game I ever tried with them. And that was Bard Song, something I was so excited about. And not only did I not like the game and sold it afterwards, and I got a lot of videos on the channel, you can go find it, what went wrong, but boy, did it kill my soul with that terrible rule book. I just don't understand. And I'll, I'll get on my, my soapbox. I just don't understand in this day and age how you could do something like that. Like, don't you care? And these people are, they do care. They're passionate, they're typesetters, they're players, they play test. And to have someone at the leadership level go, yeah, but who cares about the rule book? I don't get you. I, you and I in the world just do not get each other. Or, or each other. And, and it's very frustrating to me. And I'll tell you the most frustrating thing about it. It kills my enjoyment of the game. I've got games here that I haven't played because the rule books are so terrible. I box them up and sell them. So it's a real bad business idea. It's a bad business idea. I just don't understand why you would do it. Very frustrated. I'm expressing my frustration with you guys. But you know what? Then you get the good rule books. And you're like, yes, and it's so exciting. So big cheer, everybody, for good rule books. Let's, let's cheer for this. Let's just create some momentum here, and hopefully this is a good rule book. If you've already looked at it and you know it's terrible, I guess you could tell us. But uh, I'm excited. It's unfortunately, though, 40 pages long. So it's a big rule book. This is a big game that is going to scare a lot of people off and I'm on the verge of one being one of those. All right, let's keep looking. What we have here, good folks, let's pull back a little, let's get a good look here, are uh, character sheets, I think. So it's Drawl, Skolder, Al, Kalia, I'm murdering these names, right? Tassiri, Mader, I don't know if these are people or if they're monsters, who knows? They look like characters. They are characters. So let's take some photos of the characters. All right, good friends, good friends, good friends. What's next, what's next, what's next? We have some, or one book board. I don't know what that is. Uh, castles there, some forts maybe. It's a path, it's a track. Life points, don't know. Don't know. It's got a cool piece of artwork on the back. Let me show this to you if I can. It was like a night, very, very dim night view of a forest and a castle. Wow, I, I really, that's just ominous. That's really great. All right, what are we gonna look at next? Are we gonna start to look at miniatures? So here's our first case of miniatures. And Straight up, you can see that we have blue, red, brown, and white. So, it doesn't take a genius to figure this out. What are we looking at? We're looking at some water, some fire, some earth, and some air elementals. And so I'm gonna take a pause here and take some pictures of them close so that you could look at them that way. So a brief comment about these. These look pretty cool. Um, I know you, they're better on the pictures I just like, but I'm giving you a little thing. They're just little blocky, basic shapes. They're not too detailed, but I think they get the job done. So they're, they're nice and they're basic, and um, I'm pleased with them. All right, now we get into the second box of miniatures, which I think is gonna be the last box of miniatures. So there's not a lot. I will say that I like these here again. And one of the cool things about them is I don't have to paint them, right? Because of the way they're designed. Like, hey, that job is done for me. So here we have some, and they have, they have been washed. And so I'm going to show you a little bit from here, and then we'll get you the close-up photos of them. That's a pretty cool dragon. And a, it looks like a griffin. Okay. And uh, let's, these look like the characters. There's six of them probably to choose from. So those are pretty cool. So there's not a lot of monsters in this. And maybe there was a add-on that I didn't buy. 
But let's do the close-up pictures right now first. All right, so that last miniature that you can see here that I did was one from Heroes of Might and Magic, and you can kind of see the difference, and they're a little bit smaller. So a few things to say from my opinion. These look definitely like the player characters. They look gorgeous. The wash on them, you know, whatever they call that, sun drop kind of terminology that I believe uh, Awakened Realms started with, but we're talking just wash is beautiful. Again, I don't have to, I don't have to paint these if I don't want to. Uh, they look amazing. They're bigger. They have a bigger scale. Now, I don't know what that scale is, but I like it. I like it. I like a bigger scale. And then we have three monsters besides all of the air element, water, fire, and earth elementals. So at this point in time, I'm wondering, it seems a little short on miniatures. I'll have to definitely go look and see if there's a big box that I just decided not to pay for. I had the same thing happen with Heroes of Might and Magic, but I bought the box. So when I found it, it was like it was there. All right, so all we really got left are some tokens and some cards, so let's take a look. All right, so the next thing I actually took out was two big nice dice. These look awesome. Let's open those. A little rolling, boom. Big dice, those are pretty cool. I do like these, and then some really customized looking dice that are very pretty. Definitely enjoy those. Now, then I found these, and I went, oh, these are standee bottoms. So what I'm guessing is I got a lot of standees to look at. So let's come back a little and look at the cards. And we won't open every one of them. I usually do. There's a griffin looking thing on the back. Maybe a wizard four. A wizard four and a different, different four. This is that dark setting again. No, that's the cover. Can you see that? Let's see if you can see that. I think you can. That's that little dark picture. That's the cover, which is right here. Of a guy holding the girl or levitating the girl. And uh, we have Basilis, so maybe those are monsters. Some bats and events. Fists. Okay, so we're not going to open those. I think uh, that would be probably too much, especially for what you're looking for. Now let's look at the tokens and possibly the standees. All right, get ready to be intimidated. This is, wow. wow, that's way too many tokens. Oh my goodness, one of 38. Can you see that number down there? 38. Oh, that's way too many tokens. All right, okay. Oh, and they're double-sided, which is nice. Uh, shields, creatures, there's some rock guys. So we do have the three monsters in token form. So I know a lot of people like standees. Chris from Legion Game would prefer standees over miniatures. Um, I love Chris's show and I think he's crazy. I would always rather have miniatures, but sometimes standees are easier and they are all kind of tentatively painted. So if I ever play this game, and it's not sure that I will, because wow, it is looking big. Um, but if I do, I will definitely mention that to you. Okay, here are some more pieces. We started with one gold piece, 20 to five. We got blood, time counters, maybe magic uh, spell places. Um, I'll punch some of these out because one of the things I always like to know is how easily they punch out. Um, I guess we could start that now. Let's do that up here. Uh, not that little one, that one, that looks horrible. Um, let's do these. Um, test 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 so they punch out really easily so that's high quality punch out let's do the circles i always worry that they take a little piece of cardboard with them um, some of them do that and that's a real sign of bad manufacturing we don't have that problem here so it passes that test all right and look at this they give you a holy heck bag full of plastic ziplocs and you're like, wow, that's very nice of them. That's very nice of them. And you say to yourself, wait a minute, maybe that's not so nice. There's been too many, 
Too many tokens. All right. So we're going to keep going through these a little. Um, here we have some uh, hexes. Um, big hexes. The churches are big hexes. See if I can show you that. That's a big hex. See if you see the thing. You see the other side. Oh, they have numbers on them. Reminds me a little. Um, and hold some more hexes. And they got small ones. And oh, those are all big ones. They're all big ones. I, I was wrong about that. I thought some were the small um, individuals. They're, they're tri tripart ones. So a lot of these for exploring. Here's level twos. Hey, we're on page 11 of 38. Woo! Hey, we're on page 12 to get to level three. Uh, the art the, the art looks great. I don't know how you keep track of this. I mean, it reminds me a little bit of, oh, what was uh, Gloomhaven. But this looks worse. Worse, way too many things to do here. Um, you know me, I'm always looking for ways to eliminate tokens. One of the things I loved, absolutely, absolutely loved, was uh, Jaws the Lion. When he did that big spiral bound book for, for maps, I would just have done that in every way possible here. Uh, let's see. Now we're at level five. So these are beautiful. They're, they're beautiful. It's going to be fun to put them together in a big um, panorama. Here we have the, the, the blue guys. Uh, water elementals, some fire elementals along the bottom, some earth. So, you know, they're in there. Treasure. Fun, fun. Tons of treasure. We're on page 22 of 38. <laughs> More treasure. That's fun. Um, I don't know what these are. It's all one thing. Let's turn them over and find out. Oh, more treasure. Yeah. Scrolls here. Treasure. Okay. Um, let's see what those are. Anvil, equipment, just different types of equipment. Yeah, boy. Whoo. Okay. As we wrap this up, uh, oh, and here are what we would call uh, terrain, probably terrain, and treasures under the terrain. Wow. Maybe for mining. Wow. Here's a little bag. What's on the other side? Just bags, boxes, potions. I mean, I love all this stuff. I love potions. I love exploring the land. I love getting treasure. I love fighting monsters. One thing I was wrong about is there are no standees for monsters, right? There were no monsters in here. So where's the monsters? That's interesting because you can't just have the earth, earth, water, fire, and air elementals being your monsters with these three things. That's interesting. Someone who knows, Please make a comment below. I am surprised. Yeah, so there are no monsters as we're getting down to the very bottom. Um, yeah. Huh? Okay, that's bizarre. That is bizarre. Where are the monsters? I have a bag of standee things, a whole bunch of them too, more than just the creatures. So I guess they could be the earth elements. Wow, that's interesting. Hmm. I'll, I'll go look in and try to add a little note and go find out after I'm done filming this. All right, well, this has been Jason of the Game Warrior. I've got Uthia Torment of Resurrection, helped by Steamforge Game and produced by Dia Games. This is the second printing of it. I'm not sure if it's any different, but I wanted to unbox it. It's the kind of game I like. It's also the kind of game I don't end up playing. This one even worse because it looks really complicated. And I have a big question, so I'll add a little piece at the end of this video. It'll feel a little different because I'll use a different camera. Uh, like, where's the monsters? Okay, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the close-up videos. I got some feedback on the Heroes of Might and Magic one going, it was uh, poorly done. It was a nice guy. He, he, he said that, and then he came back and was saying, look, I'm, I'm just trying to help you. So I hope the close-up pictures helped. If you do have any feedback. It's welcome. Love you all. And until next time, this has been Jason from The Game Warrior and watch for the little addendum talking about the miniatures after this. As promised, I am back at the end of our video of unboxing Uthia and we're going to look a little bit at it. So I did, I backed it like for a dollar and then I re uh, backed in the late pledge, ma pledge manager. So I did not get the exclusive Necromancer Hero. Okay, so I didn't. That's too bad. Missed out on that. 
Um, coming down to it, the all-in pledge, you got the free Necromancer Hero Kit. I did not get that. I did not get the daily unlocks as well. Expansions, Fierce Powers are Crawling Shadows, I didn't get. I didn't get that. What I did is this. So I didn't get the daily unlocks, and I didn't get the Fierce, and I didn't get the Deluxe Expansion, whatever that was, and I didn't get the Dragon Slayer Towers Expansion. So let's go look. I got the core game. I got it in English. Uh, I got all the heroes. So everything was good. You just saw all of that. It also came with the Elementals expansion, so that was a bonus. That's what you saw when you got those. I got the Griffin expansion, uh, plus free upgrade of all heroes were blackwashed. Or, and let's see, the returning backer pledge didn't get that, didn't need it, because I wasn't a returning backer. Um, Rise of the Soul Reaper, didn't get that or any of those things. Didn't get the Fog of Necromancy, didn't get this headhunting miniature. Corrupt Elementals, didn't get that. Uh, other components, Daily Unlocks, didn't get any of those. So I didn't get any of these Dragon Slayer Towers expansion. Didn't get any of the towers to build. Um, so the Deluxe expansion, dual layer. This makes them better. Tile storage towers, stackable towers, metal coins. Yeah, I would have probably liked some metal coins. Um, these towers are pretty cool. Oh, maybe they fall apart later. Would have loved the metal coins. Some trays. Daily unlocks. The Colossus didn't get that. Didn't get this guy. So I didn't get a lot because I didn't do the daily unlocks. But I will see. So now we found out. Now the big question was where's the monsters? And I did find a piece. I'm not going to go look for it. I found monster cards. So there's 50 different monster cards and maybe extras. So the answer to that question is there aren't any monster miniatures nor monster standees. Just cards. So when you fight them, you fight them. All right, everybody. Tell me, tapa, 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 what you think about Euthia. Is this video helpful to you? Did you think maybe I'm going to get it because of it? Or did you go, no way because of it? Or were you just entertained by spending some time with me? Because I know I love spending time with you. I wish a lot of us could get together and play. I've made some great friends online, but you all live so far away. One day, we'll meet someone close. All right, everybody. Until next time, this has been Jason of the Game Warrior. Good gaming to you.